I want to ask you about partnerships. I know this is a broad mm -hmm. category. It covers a lot of things. But how should e-commerce brands, marketers, maybe even agencies think about this? I've been a big fan of partnerships since my very, very first job, where I was responsible for sending out mail order catalogs. And our best performing ROI on any catalog ever was when we swapped stuff with another retailer. That might be they put their catalog we put their catalog in our parcels, they put their catalog in their parcels, we swapped data or even we bought data off them sometimes. Those were always incredibly good ways of capturing new customers. And throughout my career as a B2B marketer in some ways I have always been as an e-commerce marketer with the brands I've worked with over the years, the people I've interviewed with, often partnerships are hugely powerful often slightly tricky to track, but hugely powerful ways of growing a business. The reason they're, they're great is because they part, when they're done well, when you've got value alignment with the, the thing, the person, the business that you're partnering with, there is a transfer of trust between you and the, um, between the person who you're, you're swapping with, you're partnering with and you. So it's, you know, Influencer marketing is the most famous version, I think, at the moment in e-commerce. When you see the reason brands work with influencers is because if the influencer says they like this, the trust the audience has in the influencer reflects well on the brand the influencer is working and the chance of, of sale goes up. When we need to cut through um, all the other marketing, when we need to protect our margins and get high margin in certain areas, that kind of thing is brilliant because you get the values aligned and you partner with the right person. You're going to be bringing on really, really, really good quality customers who should stick around and buy again. I mentioned influencers. That's one method. Affiliate marketing can be another. Um, bloggers, YouTubers, etc. Partnering with other retailers can be really cool. Um, there is an amazing app um, in the US called Good Carts. That's a Shopify app that you can use to swap um uh, order confirmation page ads. Egan's nodding. He knows what I'm talking about. Super powerful, super easy way. It's not going to get you thousands and thousands and thousands of sales a month, but it's going to bring you in some really high quality ones. Um, and there's loads of ways you can partner with other brands. And you can also partner with the press as well. So have a think about it. And it takes a bit of legwork. It's a little bit harder to track, but it should bring you in some fantastically profitable sales. Great example. Thank you for mentioning an app too. I was just thinking about sometimes when I um, buy tickets for a concert in the US, on the confirmation page, there'll be an introductory offer for something like a box of wine. And every now and then I'll, I'll, I'll hit these up because they're great introductory deals. It's good to check out. And they'll kind of keep going. There'll be multiple cross sales from different vendors of you sort of already got your wallet open. A box of wine seems totally unrelated to a concert. And yet, they got me in that moment. So I've, I've seen the power of that. And I can just imagine for brands, who else can you partner with? Who can you cross out with and potentially sp split the revenue? Is that how you see people doing that? Yeah, there's a, there's a, an excellent one. Um, I often use, uh, I often talk about, which is there's a beer brand. I sound like I drink a lot of beer here. I'm, I don't drink anything. I just seem to end up buying beer for other people. There's a brilliant, brilliant kind of subscription beer brand in the UK called Flavorly. And on their order confirmation is an app an advert for the coffee subscription business packed. Now that is a match made in heaven. You drink our beer. Now you're going to need some coffee to help you get up the following morning. Um, and they also put flyers in each other's parcels as well. So you get the, the ads there. That is one that's been worked out between the brands. And, you know, the really key thing with any of these partnerships is partner with someone whose values, whose target customer match with yours and test out different things until you find out what works for you both.